तपन सिंह जी चेयरमैन सर रूरल रीजनल रूरल बैंक अमेंडमेंट बिल 2014 I, at the while speaking on that, at the outset, I seek your indulgence for time. My time is too short. I can't complete my myself within that time to give a little bit indulgence. Number one. Number two, it appears uh, from the very scene in the house that uh, this bill is already achieved a consensus between the government side and the principal opposition. But there are still certain. Uh, opposition to that and i stand to oppose this bill the basic content of this bill the my point is that the regional rural bank set up in 1976 has got a purpose to widen the credit facility to the entire rural economy which represents or feeds more than 70% of our population and also to pump the agriculture make it more productive make it more effective agricultural economy even this rural bank regional rural bank set up with its 56 regional rural bank with around 19000 branches spread over on 37 states has spread some role at the initial period and we should make note that in 76 when this rrb act was enacted it was post bank nationalization phase that is the purpose of the whole banking sector was looked upon by the then government as a facilitator in putting the whole economy in a engine of growth to speed up the engine of growth but despite that and despite commendable function uh, performance by this rrb setup what is the situation today the situation today is that more than two third of our agricultural community are deprived of institutional credit and are victim of the private money lenders despite all rrb nabard and all these facilities and when in that kind of a situation because of being trapped by the private money lenders our peasants are committing suicide in a big way that has become a general phenomena this house only discussed that day in detail on this particular issue when we are landed in that system what should be the target of our financial sector to for a remedy to remedy that kind of a very critical situation without solution of which this country cannot grow where more than 60% 70% of its population is depending on a particular occupation which contributes to gdp to east only to the tune of 13% if this phenomena is not drastically changed then pumping money only in industrial economy i don't think that we will we will be growing uh, we will go to our achieve to our uh, cherished goal of growth so in that kind of a situation what should be the approach of our banking system but this amendment is just moving in the opposite direction the basic content of this amendment is to dilute the share only allow private capital to enter into the, uh, 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 the regional rural bank along with their representation in the director board and capital comes not for social objective capital comes for return and that's why when state intervenes in the financial sector it does intervene not merely for profit but also with a social orientation the dilution of the equity holding transfer of the entry of the private capital in the regional rural bank and consequence participation of theirs in their direct please board please please conclude i am please please i'm i'm asked I'll to request some time please i plead your indulgence yes, please. please i'll be finishing very quickly please allow yes that if you do that if allow them they they will lose their destined to lose their orientation which is already stood lost as on date rrbs are still under government full government control no dilution of equity holding till now two third of our peasants are out of the institutional credit better i think we, our priority is to address that thing first with priority not to allow 
the dilution and entry of private people in the bank's director board. They were, don't have orientation and that is proved by the fact that as on date, the rural lending, more than 60% are in the areas around the metropolis. Poor and marginal farmers are out of it. And the role of the private banks is thoroughly nil in respect of rural credit. And in that kind of a context, you are allowing private participation in the director board of the rural bank by diluting its equity holding. Is that in the interest of the rural people? And is that in the interest of the green situation that is being imagined after this amendment? So My precise point is that Thank I don't you. like to go into detail. Dhanivad. And secondly, Please. what I feel, I think in this occasion I must tell the finance minister that seriously reconsider the present structure of operation of the rural bank with the, spo with the sponsor bank model. That is just not working. Sponsors banks or commercial banks are having their own business priorities and they have to rightly so. There must be a national level apex body of the regional rural bank in association with Rab Nabar with an umbilical relationship with the RBI. Please conclude. And they must, please. Please conclude. I'm finishing, no doubt, yes. very, very shortly. Yes. And they should be manned by a management and workforce totally sensitized, totally sensitized with an orientation how to utilize, how to expand the credit facility to the remotest corner of our rural economy, including making productive credit uh, uh, arrangement for our country, country's agriculture, which is in dire state, which is in a distress. So a different orientation is required. Sponsors Bank Association does not deliver that orientation to the rural bank operation. It is required for a separate national level apex body in association with NABAL, if right at this moment, which is the urgent need of our agricultural economy, of our rural economy, please reconsider the present management structure, present governance structure of the regional rural bank. This is number one, and I insist, I move the amendment, please don't dilute its equity holding, please don't allow private cherry pickers in the director board of regional rural bank so that already two-third is out of the margin, all marginal farmers are out of the institutional credit. Please don't make it further diluted and invite more crisis in the agrarian economy and so in the economy of the country. So, Achedin will continue to remain pipe dream if these arrangements continues to operate. I insist my amendment government must accept. Thank you.